Okay, so um, this is the Vox Tony Bruno or TB 35C, I think C1. Um, this amp was um, made uh, many years ago, it doesn't, it doesn't make any more, but um, it was part of a, a line that included um, a 212 combo with um, uh, the same uh, 35 watt uh, power amp. Uh, this thing, which is the, um, the single 12 combo, uh, 35 watts, and also a lower powered um, 18 watt combo with a 12 inch speaker. Um, the speaker that's used in all of these amps is the um, Celestian G1265, which is um, uh, a slightly um, a warmer sounding Celestian, doesn't have quite the same sizzle as you know typical Celestians have. And I think with the, in combination with the SAM, it's a really good combo. Um, it's got quite high headroom at um, uh, 65 watts. Uh, the amp, it's, it's, the speaker has high headroom. The amp has 35 watts, and so you can get the amp to um, to crunch and swirl in ways that you know, and, and compress. Um, in ways that are really nice and musical and the speaker, well, the speaker can handle it. The accuracy of the speaker is a really good feature. Um, I thought I'd do a quick demo because um, the demos that are on YouTube, um, I think those demos are, are okay, but I don't know whether they really give you an idea of how versatile the amp is. Um, and that's why I thought I'd have a go at giving you a demo that maybe shows a little bit more of the versatility. So I'm playing with uh, a Gretsch Duo Jet uh, with Bixby and Filtertrons and uh, the bridge is replaced with an aluminium one. It's a bit beat up but it sounds good. And um, yeah, the amp um, sounds a bit like this with the pickup in the middle position. I've got the gain on the amp at about uh, three quarters and I've rolled the volume up on the guitar to about halfway. I think that's the secret to getting great tones from the sand um, using the volume on the guitar position. So. Turn that reverb up so you can hear a little bit about what it does. About halfway up. Turn it all the way up. Just off of all the way up. surfy reverb uh, tube driven and yeah so that gives you an idea of what's possible just with the cleanish sound I'm going to wind the volume up now to rock and roll territory <laughs> Uh, mid gain sort of a tone, um, lots of sizzle, lots of compression on the bass, and you can get interesting results with very small changes on the EQ, um, which is kind of kind of a bit like how a Fender EQ would work. So the bass, you can swamp out the bass if you want to, <laughs> to get a really 
you know, sort of bluesy sound. But I think the key to getting a, um, a more versatile sound is to moderate the bass. Uh, there's also a bass shift, or a bass boost I should say, uh, switch on the EQ. We'll have a look at that um, in, in some other images. But um, that has the effect of, yeah sure, it increases your bass, but actually it changes the whole uh, character of the amp. And if you use moderation on the bass control, you can get interesting um, uh, harmonic interactions, I suppose, um, by moving the bass up and down and using the shift control until you get a, a vibe that you're happy with. But yeah, this is great, a great classic rock sound. <laughs> turn on the mud switch on the Gretsch, it's got quite a nice queen sort of sound. idea of what's possible just with standard sort of um, settings on the amp. It's also got a macho switch and what that does is it introduces a, a sort of a classic maybe a range master type boost if you know what a range master is a treble booster but with a focus on low mids rather than um, um, the raspy treble stuff and that gives this amp a fat fat lead sound which you can switch in and out using a, a foot switch. Um, this is an example of what you can what you can do with that sound. sound to be very um, yeah low mids focused it's got a bit of rasp but um, it's quite um, hmm, what's the word it's, it's quite tubby so again you I think I think the key to getting the best from this amp is moderating the bass and maybe using the volume control on your guitar to sort of um, you know uh, experiment with what different levels of input do to the tubbiness of the sound because sometimes you that's what you want you want a big fat lead guitar sound in other situations um, they might not be quite what you're going for but I think because this amp is effectively a single channel amp it's got a switchable boost um, it's kind of built with a player in mind who, who likes to use their volume control um, to get the most from those different sounds <laughs> back off a little bit you can kind of hear a little bit of the um, maybe a bit more of the harmonics than possible with that boost on. It's 
So, yeah, there you have it. Um, the other thing that this amp can do is um, you can defeat the uh, master volume on it. And that's fantastic if you want a clean platform. Let's turn that Matra switch off. For your pedals. So I'll just back off my preamp volume, turn on the master volume bypass. And then all you do is just use the pre. Now, if you ask me, um, if you're after a clean tone, definitely use the Master Volume Bypass. Like, it is a much uh, more um, rounded sound. I think the reverb even sounds better with the Master Volume Bypass on. So, like I say, for a clean platform, uh, that's, what that, that's what that's designed to do, is to give you just, um, just a nice platform to use your pedals with. Um, personally, I'm not... I'm, I, I don't use amps like that, <laughs> um, but um, I think it's well worth demonstrating that it's got an excellent clean sound, um, as well as these um, overdriven sounds which um, you can use dynamically with your, your guitar. Look, I've got no idea how that came out on the GoPro, I'm, I'm hoping that the microphone picked up some of what the amp has to offer, but um, yeah, I, I, I personally think they're, they're a, um, a sleeper amp. Um, I think that uh, I, I've personally been using it as my B amp, so in an AB setup. So I've, I've been using this amp when I need a little bit of extra boost for um, intros, outros, solos, that sort of thing. And I've found it excellent in that application. Um, it has a different tone than my A amp, which is awesome. Like I can switch between the two, so that might be something you're going for. But I think even as a standalone amp, it has a really tubby, fat sound. Which again, you can sculpt using the bass EQ to get um, different variations on that. But I think it's it, fundamentally it's capable of a big fat sound, even though it's got a single speaker. It's a single speaker combo. Um, but but yeah, um, some people compare the sound that it makes to you know to like the, the structure of the preamp and stuff, um, similar to a Fender Bassman or or even a Hi Wop. I think um, or some of the comparisons I read about. I've got no idea, I've never played a high walk bass man, but I think, um, yeah, it, it is similar in terms of the bass and the rumble and the, the growl you can get by moderating the bass. Um, and yeah, um, definitely has the clout um, on the clean sound that you'd expect from a high watt, but it's only a 35 watt power section, it's not really in the same league as, as some of those amplifiers, which, which are much louder. Um, yeah. Um, I've also experimented with using different speaker types um, with this amp. I think this, the speaker that comes with it is actually fine. Some people talk about it being too dark. Um, I would say keep experimenting with your um, with your guitar volume, with your pickup selection, with your tone controls. Um, this amp can sparkle. It's it's got plenty of um, plenty of chime to it. Um, it's um, like I say, it's just that uh, it's also capable of those quite tubby tones. So so yeah. Yeah, I think it's quite an underrated amp. Anyway, I'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.